We're beginning to see a lot more deep quartering birds with lots of speed delivered from traps that are 15 to 25 yards off to the right or left of the cage going straight away, creating the necessity to take that target under speed. And once again, being flexible with our experimentation and trying any and everything we can to give you guys something that will help you um, more consistently hit the separator targets of the courses they're now throwing. We're going to talk about the away move or to challenge the target as opposed to catch the target by holding the gun way out and letting the bird come to you. So in our first shot, you can see after I've called pull that the gun begins to slowly move away and the shot stabilized. I'm moving the gun before I finish saying pull, before the bird comes off the trap and it's really fast and I can't really see it well until right about there. So this move is more a, as you say the P in pull, it's pull and the gun starts moving away and the bird comes out lightning fast it sharpens up and when it stops just send it it's slowly away in the beginning your whole points about one third out to the right point which is just the opposite as if we were that it would be if we were going to catch it We'd be at the 90-yard line. We're at the 30-yard line when we're doing this away. This is a converging line shot in sync with the target. First bird on the pair. Remember, the brain is always ahead of you, and it automatically creates converging lines. And we're using that in this shot, starting the muzzle really low on this quartering bird. Nose on the bird. Begin to move away from the motion. As it merges, it's merging at the correct speed which allows the correct lead to have, to, to be. Watch it again. I saw it. I began to move, create the converging lines, which results in the correct lead, and we take the shot. Now I'm going to show you a really deep quartering bird that's rising. Um, it's really fast. As I say pull, I begin to move away, and when the picture's stable, I send it. I'm actually moving on a blurry target. The target gets sharp about two-thirds of the way to the break point, but I'm moving away with my nose on the bird, and my brain just stabilizes the shot. It's, it's an amazing thing what the brain can do. It just stabilizes the shot. Bam, yep. And and I'm going to show you this one as a catch here in just a minute, but I'm one-third out. As I say pull, I begin to move slowly away. The target's clear when it comes out from behind the tree, and my brain just automatically stabilizes the shot. Now I'm going to catch it. I'm going to start out and let it come to me after I've seen it. I saw it clear. I begin to move away. And I stabilize the shot. I can see it coming. Here it comes away and stabilize the shot. But I had to break the bird much later in its flight path. So I'm going to charge it now. I'm going to go back and watch this bird. It's what we call charging the bird. As you say, the P and pull move away. And the brain just miraculously stabilizes the shot. The key is keeping your eyes still and moving the gun slowly away as you say pull. And it's... The synchronization is just a natural occurring phenomenon to me. It's going to take you about 500 shots to get this eyes still, move away as you say pull. The typical problem people have is they move away way too fast in the beginning. It's slowly away. As you say the P and pull, slowly away, match the speed, and take the shot. 